hi guys it's joy of guns and needs and i want to show you guys how to make this cute design the bubble pattern or tuck stitch so i'm going to pull out 20 by 20 rows and i said 20 by 20 i mean 20 there then to zero and another 20 on the other side that's what i mean by 20 by 20 needles so i already have a video on how to knit this tuck stitch using one single color so if you would love to watch that please go ahead check it out this description is it's, it's um link is in the description box you can check it out now i'm going to cast on you know i already start off with a knot attach it to my first needle and then i cast on Casting on with the Arab method, then I attach my yarn into the carriage, close it. I'm going to use tension five, it's already in tension five. Make sure when you're starting, your counter is at zero. All right, and then we start. So, make the first row. This is the moment where you attach your comb. But I find, I don't know, <laughs> I rarely use my comb. I just do that. And we are going to knit with all the needles. So please, make sure you bring all your needles into the working position. So I'm knitting just a few plain rows and then we'll start off with our design. Let me do 15 rows of plain knitting. Okay, I've made 16 rows of plain knitting. So I'm going to count one, two, three needles and pull out the next. One, two, three, pull out the next. Okay, one, two, three, pull out the next. So that's what I'm doing all the way all the way to the end of your work so leave three in between and pull one out like that okay good then then on the carriage we are going to put in holding position here it's at one normal position when i push it towards this side I've put it in holding position and I'm going to knit four rows. One. So holding position means that these needles that are pulled out won't knit. Two, three, and four. Next is just knitting two rows without the holding position. So I remove it from holding position back to this side, but then I'm going to change color as well. So I'm using white for those two rows. So I'll put this color out, keep it on the side, bring the white, fix it in, and then knit the two rows. So that's one and two. And then remove the white, bring back the red, okay. So I'm putting the white aside now, putting the red into the carriage, okay, putting it back in holding position. Now, at first we were doing, we counted three first and then pulled out one. Now for the next part we are removing, we are putting out the middle of three. So we are getting our first three needles, pulling out the one in between our first three needles like that. And then we'll start counting three and pull out one. Okay, so one, two, three, pull out one, 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 one, two, three, 
pull out the next one two three pull out the next one two three pull out the next to the end of our work that's it and then again we need four rows with the red remember don't forget to put your carriage in holding position so we need one two three and four take remove the carriage from holding position bring back the white for the next two rows Bring back the white and knit two rows of the white. So one and two. Remove the white. Bring back your other color. Place it to the machine, into the carriage. the carriage close the carriage back to holding position select your needles now remember previously we decided to get we got the three needles and pick the one in between now we are leaving all the three needles and picking the next and continuing like that so this is how that part um so that is how this pattern works okay you just keep doing that if you start off with picking skipping three and picking the next the next part of the pattern you pick the middle of the first three and then you keep picking three so we are knitting our four rows moving hold position changing back to white for the two rows Knitting the two rows, finishing off the two rows. Mm -hmm. So far, so good. Our pattern is already working. I forgot to attach the weights. Okay, at least now you guys have an idea of what's happening. You can have a sneak peek. Okay, yeah, so we're done with the two rows of white. Remove the white. Attach the red again. Back to holding position and pick the needles. Now we are picking the middle of the first three, the middle needle of the first three, which is this. And then we'll pick three after that. Three and then pick the next. Count three, pick the next, count three, pick the next. So the end of your work so this is how this pattern works guys it's simple as well now we are knitting four rows so you just have to keep repeating that pattern back to non-holding position remove the red attach the white or whichever other color that you're using Make the two rows. Remove the white. Bring back the red. Back to holding position. Now we are counting three. So we do the same thing. Skip three. Bring out the next. Skip three. Bring out the next. Mm -hmm. and that's it then we need our four rows and we can remove it from holding position bring back the white and knit the two rows and you just have to keep repeating that all the way through your work you can use this design bag to make a sweater to make a scarf anything you choose to use it for 
please do subscribe if you haven't subscribed give that video a thumbs up let me know how you like it in the comment section tag me on instagram guns and it's and facebook in case you make something nice with a design please do tag me on your post um i think that's enough so i'm cutting the yarn to show you guys what we have made all right so I put off my work that's it lovely pattern it is you can use it to make anything you like i think this would be so lovely for a baby something yeah look at that guys Ooh, it's so cute look at that beauty so you can use the design to make anything you love a scarf a baby jacket a baby set a sweater a dress just be creative and don't forget to tag guns in it on your post when you make something okay thank you guys for watching bye